Today we are going to have all the Prime Minister and all the country from Uganda. It has also migrated from uh, Abyssinia, mm -hmm. uh, that is Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. They passed, uh, they came through to Rukana, mm -hmm. they crossed up to Karamoja, mm -hmm. and from there they went to Soroti. Mm -hmm. Now they spilled up through Tororo. Mm -hmm. We are nylots in uh, Bungoma. We also have a presence in Transoya. We have a presence in uh, West Pokot. Yeah, we are almost all over. In Kakamega, we have members of the ETS over there. In fact, we have been looked down upon. They thought that uh, Tesos are from Uganda. And if there's any Teso in Western Kenya, uh, they came to take care of the animals. So that was the myth of the Luya. <laughs> Mani, <laughs> Unga kama hiyo, nini mchanga kama hiyo, kuchemuza na hii moto, paka chuma natoka hapa kwa hii mawe. In a cow we get milk, uh, at the same time we get meat, the skin is not thrown. So this skin, we turn it into a bed. <laughs> in Uganda, we are the second largest tribe. We are, we are borderless. In fact, when people say that uh, uh, you produce passports to cross the border, you are inconveniencing the ETSO. We visit each other when they, whenever there is a problem or when, whenever we want to just visiting. There's a wedding, we go there and they come here. When we got our first district, Teso district, there was more celebration in Uganda than in Kenya because they believed that now they have added another district to the previous districts that were in existence. I depict mostly the cultural aspect of it in my art. And in that art, I also mostly dwell with the Teso colors. I think that way, I feel I identify myself with where I come from and what I want to portray to the people who are interested in my art. Tradition foods are very nutritious than those ones which are now brought in, yeah, like Akima. Starting from porridge, you use akima. Cakes, you use akima. And it is very productive than using wheat, where it is refined, and this one is not refined. You just do like this, you see. Then I will remove my ghee. 
I put somewhere for like three days. Then I put it on a fry, on a pan. Now it becomes a real ghee. Main dishes. This is our ugali. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is pumpkin chapati. We have atapa. Mm, we have pasted beef. We have turkey. We have mud fish. We have meklen, the big rat. A lot of things happening now, like the youth. They form 75% of our population. Most of them don't know their culture. They don't know how the Iteso food is, the housing, the dressing, the musical instruments. Did I mention the food? Yeah, the Akima aspect of it. God created people with the traditions, with the cultures. That now brings a difference. Because me now I cannot uh, resemble an, an Israelite. Because I don't know uh, the, the cultural values of an, uh, an Israelite. What I'm only against, uh, cultures that are unfriendly to human existence. But uh, if we adapt cultures that promote love, unity among the people, definitely that's what Christianity is working for. Uh, because when Jesus came, he said, love one another as you love yourself. And tell us, love one another as they love themselves.